The next question is, where do you get your ideas from? So we already went over what you like. Now it's time to think exactly where you get your current or where you could get your new ideas from. For me, when I was a kid, I grew up listening to a lot of my dad's music, which was a lot of music from the 80s and 90s. One night when I was in high school, I remember listening to a song called I Swear by All For One. I was writing down some math cards for a test that I was about to have, and in listening to that song, I came up with an idea to write a long-distance love story about two characters that send postcards to each other that were about the same size as the math cards that I was writing. And I have pictures of that story below the video. So it could be something like that. It could literally be an idea that comes to your head from out of nowhere. Other times, it could be something about your own life. Like for my life, I was working at a job that I would later be fired from, and I dreamt about how I wanted to travel around the world and play poker. So I began to write a story about a character that was in my position, but instead of staying in the office and later getting fired, he went out and followed his dreams. Your ideas can come from anywhere. So say that you want to write an action story and a big plot point in that story would be a bank robbery. So where would you get your ideas for that from? Possibly from real life news stories like the Lufthansa heist or robbers like D.B. Cooper. You could also get your ideas from movies and video games like the opening scene of The Dark Knight or the movie Heat. You could also look to other movies like Point Break or The Town or Goodfellas and video games like Grand Theft Auto 4, which had a homage to the robbery scene in Point Break. Then you could think about your characters and where you get your ideas for your characters. What if one was an immigrant who was in the military in another country, but is trying to live the American dream like Nico from Grand Theft Auto 4? How about a junkie? who is good with weapons but needs money for drugs like Derek from the same game? How about a man who is a military veteran who is good with explosives but is persecuted by the police and beaten by them and wants to get back at them? How about a tech wizard who works for a corporate American company but is underpaid and is about to get laid off and needs money so he could leave his boring job before he gets fired? How about a getaway driver who is paid by the boss and the ringleader of the entire operation and does what he's told to perfection, like the driver from the movie Drive? And speaking of the boss, what if he is this unseen figure that they all have in common but is unknown to them for now, like the Joker at the beginning of The Dark Knight? Okay, so those would be the leading characters. But what about the cops? What is the chief of police that is leading the investigation like? Is he like Jim Pervora from the game Max Payne, an overweight officer who wants to bring them to justice no matter what? Or is he more like Vincent Hanna, who is Al Pacino's character in the movie Heat, a police lieutenant who is after the criminals and tries to stop them because that's all he knows how to do? What about the rest of the cops? Are they one-dimensional officers that the criminals just tear through? Or are they trained fighters and the best of the best, like the officers in the movie The Raid? What about other characters in the story? Do the robbers have families or people who care about them? What about the media? Are there involved journalists like Robert Downey Jr.'s character Wayne Gale from Natural Born Killers or Lou Bloom from Nightcrawler? who were two news journalists who were up close and personal with the action and who would do anything to get a great news story.